Hello, welcome to Be The Magician. My name is Brandon and welcome to my channel. So it's the third video of the week. I'm on a proper roll now. So this trick I'm about to show you, it's another triumph effect, but with a kicker ending. You don't want to miss it. So let's get into the video. <laughs> So this is what the trick looks like. So it does use a normal pack of cards and we do need a random card selected. So let's say it is the Eight of Hearts and the cards are going to get cut and shuffled to face up into face down, just like so. And you can truly see all these cards are mixed up, face up into face down. And again, we're going to mix them up face up into face down like so, and we're going to place their selection, the Eight of Hearts, somewhere inside the centre, like so, and give them the last shuffle. But all we do is we wave, we snap, and now you can see the Eight of Hearts is now the only face-up card. That is crazy. But we can take it one step further. If we take the cards and give them a shake. Now, what I don't understand is where the ace, the two, the three, the four, the five, the six, the seven, eight, nineteen, Jack, Queen, King comes from. That is every suit, well, every heart of the same card in order. Ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nineteen, Jack, Queen, King. So this is the triumph. You've got a little kick around at the end. It is a little bit knacky, but I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. Okay, so this is the explanation of the trick. So hopefully I've got a camera at a better angle so you can see exactly how this works. So there is a little setup, which is this. You have to get Ace to King out of the pack. It doesn't have to be hearts, but I'm using hearts in this example. So Ace to three, all the way to King, get him in the exact same order as mine. Starting with the ace at the bottom and the king at the face. And when you've got that, you want to put a little bend in the card. This is the way I do this, okay? And put them on top of the pack. So now, if you can see on camera, I can't just see what you guys can see at the moment because I'm filming it. You should have like a little, little bend, or should we call it a uh, rocking chair sort of thing, okay? So when you're in that position, yes, it might look a bit obvious, but when you spread the cards to a layman, to a spectator, they won't think anything of it. So that's your setup there at the top of the pack, and you need to get them to pick one of the hearts. So how to do that? You're going, you're going to spread the cards, but obviously not like this in the middle, because they will pick one from the middle. So there's two ways of doing this. You can basically spread the cards slowly, but make sure you don't go past your 12 cards, the, the, the stack cards, okay? You can keep a break below them if you want to, so you know they're going to pick one of the stack cards. But I don't usually get a break. I just say go ahead and pick one and spread slowly till they pick one, okay? Let's say you don't want to do that way. You can cut the card into the middle somewhere and get someone to pick a heart from there but you have to keep your eye on the break, okay? But I won't recommend doing that. I would just add the 12 cards at the top, get someone to pick one, do it nice and slowly, they will pick one. When they've picked a heart, drop everything back on top, okay? So all the cards are still in the same order, A, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, except from the jack, okay? So now what you're going to do is, with this bend, this is why we put the bend in. You're going to pick up at the break, or pick up at the bent, shall we say. You're going to cut to the king. That's going to go face down to the left. You're going to cut about the same amount of cards again. And then the remainder is going to be a lot bigger packet. So you've got a small packet, a small packet, and a bigger packet. Okay? So what we're going to do is turn the middle packet face up and you can actually spread these face up and face down because all these are the hearts these are random cards so you're going to do a riffle shuffle if you can't do a riffle shuffle 
I'll show you another way of doing this. So, let if you are going to do the riffle shuffle, what you have to do is riffle off the first card, the king. That's important. So you're going to riffle off the first card, and you can't see it at that angle, but you're going to riffle off the first card, move it this way a bit, so hopefully you can see this on camera. So you're going to riffle off the first king, and then you're just going to do a normal riffle shuffle, making sure a card goes on top. So, if you push these in, you, it, the cards do look mixed, but if you turn these over, they're still in the exact same order. So fooling. So you can show the spectator that they're all mixed, but let's say you can't do the a riffle shuffle. I'll show you another way you can do this. Let's say you can't do the riffle shuffle, there's this way as well, another alternative. So you're in the exact same position. You're going to turn these over to show them face up and face down. What you're going to do is spiral the cards. So just place your index finger on form and just start spinning the cards. And then what you're going to do is just push these inside here. But if you can, try and miss the top card. The, sorry, the bottom card. If it does end up going somewhere like this, like it's on camera, just take it out and just push the rest of the cards in so the king stays on bottom, okay? It looks quite more messy when you do it this way as well, like you shuffle them all in, it doesn't really matter, or whatever. It, it, it's just another way of doing it if you haven't got a, uh, if you can't do the before shuffle. So you're in that position. Let me give them another mix, that's not really good mix, that. Do it, do a quick mix. One more for luck, like so. There we go. So you show the cards like they're all mixed, face up and face down. Then you're going to turn these cards over. You don't want to spread the cards because you'll see all the hearts. So after you show the cards mixed, you're just going to naturally turn them over, pick up the face down packet, which are all normal, and now we're going to do a pharaoh shuffle. You have to do the pharaoh shuffle for this one, or a riffle shuffle. But it doesn't have to be perfect. All you've got to do is make sure some, some of these cards go on top of the king. Like so. So I'm just going to do it very, hopefully you can see this on camera. I'm just going to push the cards and you'll see that they'll start pharaohing in. Like so. And you can see that I've got three cards on top of the king. I'm going to push the cards in. Not, not all the way, but just so I, I can... Touch the top and the bottom with my middle finger and thumb and ring finger. You're going to take their selected card and put it in the face down side. So I'm not going to put it the king side. I'm going to put it anywhere near the center where the face down cards are and push the card in. Now this is the hardest part of the trick. So your thumb's going to come to the bottom left and your middle finger and ring finger is going to come onto the top right. And you're just going to push down. And then it's going to ferrule the cards together, but kick all the out jock cards to one side. I'll show you what I mean. That's not a very good example because I'm doing it a bit too slow. But like you can see, if you can see here, the cards, all these cards here are the, the hearts. So now it probably won't work as good because I did it very slow. When you spread, it will hide all the face down cards. So all the face up cards, except their selected card. Now they think the trick's over with. So I'll do that faro, the faro thing again for you, but that's what you will get. When you spread the cards, you want to put a bit of pressure down when you spread the cards, you will get this. Now obviously you're going to take the card, be careful when you take the card, because if you do this, you might flash uh, a heart. So when you took the card out, place it down, and you're going to scoop the card and then square everything up. Then you're going to re-spread and show all the hearts. Ace, two, three, obviously the two's there for some reason, I don't know why. But you'll get ace to king of hearts. So I am going to go through the Pharaoh Shuffle for the last time so you guys can see exactly how it works. So like I said, I'm just going to show you that last part again. I'm going to go through the... Uh, well, I'll recap it really quickly. You've got your hearts, so you're going to choose a heart, so you're going to remember one of the cards. You're going to cut at all the hearts to the left, 
cut about the same packet as these, which is about 12 cards. The bigger packet to the right. And you're going to mix these up with the face down to face up, making sure the king lands face down first on the table. So they get mixed up. As you can see, they're all mixed up. And then when you turn these over, if you don't see a king here, you know something's wrong. Then you're going to do a riffle shuffle, uh, sorry, a pharaoh shuffle. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as the cards are all weaving in one by one. Hopefully you can see that. And I've got a few cards above the king, which is perfect. You're going to push the selected card inside the blue half. So you've got your face up, should we say the face down half? It has to get pushed in the face down half, like so. Now this is where it comes the tricky move. So your thumb's going to go on the bottom left, and I usually use my middle and ring finger on the top right, and I'm going to push, and what's going to happen is, a bit of a better example, that the cards are going to look like this. So you've got all these cards here are all the hearts what are going to be hidden by the other cards. So when you've gone to this position, you're just going to spread the card. I'm going to try and do two spreads just to show you what can happen. So if you do this, perfect. And what I did is just place my, arm, my hand firmly down and pulled across. Or hopefully I can do it again. It, so it doesn't, it, it is going to mess up now, I think. You could do, I'm trying to do it wrong. You could do, you could do something like that. Okay, so when you spread in, you might get this. If that is the case, you can say, was it one of these your cards? They'll go, yes, with the nine hearts or the eight hearts, whatever they pick. You go, oh, wow, that's brilliant. But you're probably thinking, why have you got two hearts? What you can do is say, look, I didn't know which heart you were going to choose. So I took every heart out. Do you know what I'm saying? So there's a load of different ways you could present this if you did it wrong. So, yeah, that's the explanation of the triumph effect. Okay, so that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, this may be a little bit harder to do, obviously with the pharaoh shuffle, with the uh, angle pharaoh shuffle, where you have to, I'm trying to do it on camera so you can see the camera's a bit higher, where you have to do the shuffle and it's half and half. It is uh, a little bit tricky to do at first, but after you've practiced it a few times, I'm sure you guys will be able to get it straight away. Fingers crossed. So at the moment, I'm absolutely sweating cards. I've got a light on. I'm sweating like crazy. I don't know why it's red hot actually where I am in this room. I'm just mumbling on now. <laughs> but like I hope you enjoyed this trick. Uh, this one, I give a credit out to Joshua J. Uh, I saw Joshua J perform this. And, and I saw it. I was like, that's perfect, easiest trick for you guys to learn. So yeah, if you have, like I said before, if you've got any recommendations on tricks you want to learn, coin tricks, card tricks, flourishes, card moves, false shuffles, false cuts, let me know down in the description and I can do that for you. Also, I'm thinking about doing a, another live and get a bit of communicating again back and forth so I can answer some of your questions, what you may have. So yes, please hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.